right. Um, so what I did was I uh, stained this black, and um, it was, I tell you what, it was hard getting the black off. I only wanted the black and the grain, so you, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I did get, let's see if I get, I did get some black into the grain here a little bit. Let me get under some light there so you can see it a little bit better. So I've got black in the grain, which is really what I want because I just want that grain to kind of pop through the blue. Um, but then I had to sand all that, all that off, and so that was, so a lot of work. <laughs> I'm not going to kid you; it was a lot of work. Uh, but now I think I'm ready to start doing some some uh, blue sa um, staining on here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the whole thing in blue, um, front and back, sides, you know, top, all that stuff. And then I might take just a teeny, like a one drop of black and make a little bit darker batch. Or maybe I'll just get a little bit of uh, black and water it down and kind of dab my blue rag into that. And then just kind of hit the sides a little bit and darken those up just a little bit. Um, and then kind of maybe just mix it in. So I think I'm going to go a little darker around the edges um, and then just kind of keep it all blue here in the middle. But first thing I'm going to do is I've got some uh, just some regular old naphtha here. And um, I've done this several times. You've seen me do this. I'm going to do it again. Um, I already hit this with a tack cloth. I sanded it. I hit it with a tack cloth. But then I'm going to use the naphtha just to make sure that I've got it clean. And then I'll let that dry. And then I'll start... Um, with the process, but I really want to make sure that I'm getting all the dirt and the stuff off of here. And you can see, I mean, that's some of the black that's still coming off of there um, just from the naphtha on there. So there is black still in there. It's in the grain, which is what I, what I wanted. All right, um, gonna let this dry off. We'll come back, we'll mix up some stain and start making this bad boy blue. All right, so I added a little bit of water to the blue dye I had already mixed up before. Um, and it was a little bit dark on my test piece of wood. So I just added a little water to thin it out just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got these just cut up pieces of t-shirt. So I took one and balled it up and I'm gonna take another one, just kinda put that in the middle of it pull these up and then kind of just twist it make myself a little applicator and then I've got just some some rubber bands here to kind of keep it balled up so make a little applicator there get my glove stuck inside um, once again highly advise I mean I got blue on the fingers already just from taking the cap off so I highly advise you wear gloves when you're staining or dyeing because it is a real bear. You basically have to let it wear off almost because it's just really hard to get off. All right, so I've got a little plastic cup here to set my my applicator in when I'm not using it. Um, or I could use the lid, either one. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and let's put some blue on this bad boy. So, just gonna dip this in. It soaks up a lot to start with because it's basically kinda like a sponge until it gets full up. So it takes a lot of product. You can see that's actually kind of a light pass on there. So you can see that's not a lot of blue right now. And I will go in over this a lot of times probably to get it the blue that I want. Because that is really light right now. I may add a couple more drops in just for fun. I got a little scratch right there that I did not get out by sanding. So I'll see if I can't get that out next time. All right. I know it's probably not looking very blue. I mean, there's blue to it, there's color. But I'd rather start light and add to it than have to come back and then sand it back off and start all over again. Now I am gonna take this darker, but I wanna go ahead and get one even coat on here before I make a, a 
a slight adjustment to my color because that was a little too much water in there but that's okay it's putting color on here and that's what I want was some color so it just gives me a place to start Okay, if you're like me and you're watching videos you're like you're missing a spot dude hit the spot because I do that all the time when I watch people do this and it drives me crazy it's like come on get that one spot so I'm gonna try to get all the spots here so if you're seeing stuff I missed hopefully I'll get to it before I'm done here all right so I'm gonna do the front now actually I'm, I'm picking up some color here which is kind of nice um, so if I uh, kind of keep going and this should go pretty quickly in terms of like drying so that I could start adding more coats. So let me start hitting the sides here. And that next one, I guarantee, will be darker because I'm going to add a couple of drops to my mixture here. Blue, liquid stain, color tone. I got this from Stu Mac. Um, very concentrated. Be very careful. A couple of drops. That's probably more than I needed. Um, let's dry that off there. Because if I don't dry that off there, it'll get on everything else. All right, and I'm just going to add just a touch of water to this and give it a little shake, mix it up. All right. Let's try this one more time. Okay, that's definitely darker now. So let me soak some of that in here. That's definitely a little bit darker. Let's see what that there we go now we're getting some color in there that's what we're talking about getting some color on the wood colors up in here um, you know I, I did use the uh, the grain sealer so or not the sealer but the filler so some of this is kind of going in and some of it's kind of sitting a little bit on the surface and but I'm not seeing deep pores in here which is good which means that the grain filler did do a pretty decent job um, of keeping that stuff up on the surface of the wood and not letting it go too deep I mean it, it some of it's just gonna soak in that's just the nature of the wood but at least it's not diving all the way into the pores of the grain like it was before. And you know, I'm gonna have a pick guard right here. So really this part right here, not that great of an interest. This on the other hand, I want to look good. So, all right, um, let's set that here. We'll put our lid on, let this dry for a few minutes. And uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up to dry. And so I'm just gonna use this coat hanger and hang it from the rafters and then come back and I'll show you what we've got after it's dried down for a little bit. So let's take a couple of minute break here. 